So, when it comes to children's adventures, there is no better setting, surely, than Dorset. Remember all those famous five stories set in our county? Well, now there's a, a new mystery for a group of Dorset children to solve. It's going to take the best team... Didn't use night vision mode. It's pay as you go. ..to crack this Did case. You get it? Someone may have been burned. Murdered. Burned! Exactly, Woody. It's a clip of a new film called Who Killed Nelson Nutmeg, uh, which was written and filmed here in Dorset with cast members almost entirely made up of actors from the county. I'm pleased to say that one of those stars, Callan Hounsom, joins me in the studio now alongside co-writer and co-director Danny Stark. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Callan, did I get your surname anywhere near right? Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, good. Right. Uh, right, Danny, I'm going to start with you. Tell me a little bit about um, the, the background to this. I mean, where did the idea come from? Well, it was interesting uh, just listening to you talk about micro bits from mm. the 80s and stuff because because when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, there was a lot of children's films with kids in the lead roles and, you know, getting out on adventures, mysteries, getting up to no good, basically. And, you know, since then, not a lot of those films have been made. And the animation genre is kind of taking over that field. So along with my kind of good friend and colleague, uh, Tim Clegg, who made the film with me, we decided to make a kid's film uh, with kids in the lead roles. And... Um, because we're Bournemouth filmmakers in the area, we said, well, let's celebrate everything that's great about the area, make the film here. We knew it had stunning locations. We knew it had the filmmaking crew. And then we just did a little search for the cast and we found everybody we needed. And this is where people like Callum come in. Now, Callum swanned in here like some kind of child star. He's got his <laughs> entourage waiting for... I'm joking. What, what's, what's your background, Callum? Have you acted before? Uh, yeah, I've done a few um, bits of acting. With uh, I've done it on stage. I did a tour with uh, the o with the Oliver, uh, with Cameron McIntosh. Um, and yeah, that was that was quite good. I went over to do an audition. Um, I didn't didn't think I would get in, but I I got I got quite far. And then they um, had a uh, audition for the Oliver, but I got Oliver understudy. So um, okay. I was doing as one of Fagan's gang. So that was quite a good experience. Cool. And what yeah. about I mean, in terms of stuff in front of camera, have you done much of that before? Uh, no, this was this was actually my first um, first real experience in front of camera. So and how old, how old are you? Am I allowed to ask? Uh, yeah, I'm 15 years old. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. So um, so we people like Callum then. This you you sort of found them on a, a a sweep across Dorset looking for people y young people who can act. We did a fairly thorough and intensive kind of casting process. We went to all the kind of local theatre schools first, and um, any child who was interested kind of stepped forward. We did some workshop auditions with them. Um, one of them was with Callum, who immediately stood out, obviously, as kind of a really kind of strong actor. Uh, and then we did an open, big open day casting down at the Lighthouse Pool, uh, and 300 children turned up for the for the day. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know what to expect. And then by the end, we kind of knew what we were doing. Um, and that was really great because we found two of our main cast out of that casting day, so it was really worth it. Um, so it was just a very exciting process and then the only kind of out of towner we got was uh, Bonnie Wright from Harry Potter who plays Ginny Weasley that's not bad is it so we got her into the film just to give the film some sort of name and yeah. uh, you know a bit Open of profile some doors I yeah. imagine that does uh, I haven't even asked so Callum you're, who do you play in the film uh, I'm I'm Cyclops and the film is uh, a bit of a mysterious character. You're yet. Cyclops. Yeah. It's <laughs> that is. is that is is that just a nickname that a boy gets, or are you actually all dolled up in makeup, looking like a Cyclops? Uh, no, it's it's just a okay. just a nick um, nickname. What's the so. what's the plot of the film? What happens? Oh, uh, well, what can you tell me about what happens? <laughs> so it's uh, it's set in a set in a caravan site, obviously, mm. and there's these uh, that uh, everyone everyone loves. Um, you know, Nelson, not making all that, but there's these four kids that kind of feel that they're too old for it all. So, um, yeah, they um, they get kind of bored and then they find out that one of their favourite mascots from when they were younger got murdered and it's their job to investigate and find out who did it. And it's basically, it's basically the film. Well, what, really what's, good film. What's, what's great about Callum's character is that he plays this mysterious character called Cyclops, who's very kind of... Uh, He's like a myth in the camp who doesn't really exist. And the kids are like, the Cyclops doesn't exist. So they mm. have to seek him out and find him. Yeah. And he's this like pale, never goes out. He's even got his arm in a sling because Callum broke his arm really? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> playing football. So we kind of use that for the story. And he's got special information for them that might lead them to find out who killed Nelson Nutmeg. Because Nelson Nutmeg, great pitch that Callum did, but Nelson Nutmeg is the kind of camp's mascot got it. Where, this, uh, where the kids go. And so they're kind of... 
See, I was already, I, I thought that was a nice high concept description from exactly you spot to, on. I was part, part with my money. I was practicing it on the in, in the car on the way down, but I didn't need to. Yeah, it was great. Um, and I remember, so I remember the coverage of of this. It was Freshwater Holiday Park, wasn't it? Yeah, we Way shot from... entirely down in Freshwater Beach, where they shot Broadchurch. Uh, and I remember sort of following the filming of it in the local papers. So what I mean, what's going on now in terms of people being able to see the film? Well, it's just uh, we're just gearing up for a cinema release over the Easter holidays. Mm-hmm. Um, starting in um, Pool at the Empire Pool in Tower Park. Cool. Uh, and then we're kind of doing a little mini tour around the South and Southwest region just to keep it local for now in, ter- in terms of kind of wave a flag and celebrate the film. Um, so we're going up to Southampton, Portsmouth, um, going as far as Brighton and then a bit to Oxford and Bristol and Exeter. We're just kind of keeping it around the South region um, and you can get tickets uh, to see the see it at any of those venues at our website which is nelsonnutmeg.com brilliant and then we're hoping to have a kind of a summer DVD release well let us know keep yeah, us up to date it's absolutely. really good to see you both this morning thank you very much thank you very much Cheers, thank uh, you. Danny Stark co-writer and co-director and Callum Housen who plays Cyclops in Who Killed Nelson Nutmeg BBC Radio